And like that, my friends, we are back. Yes, yes. A little delayed, but we're here. We're here to do it. So today, y'all know what it is. Y'all see the title? The title? <laughs> good morning, Grails. Yes, we got a good one today for you. The Grail of all Grails. And yes, this is, I'm not even sure what season we're in. Season four, season, we're going to call it season five. This is the season five. Season five, uh, but uh opening yeah season five opening let's just say it's the season five premiere it's the season five premiere of good morning grails and we're starting it off with a bang we're doing the delorean that's right we're doing the original back to future delorean which you famously see right up there um and no i have not sold it it's right here on the side of me we're about to um about to show it all to you guys i want to give you a closer look um you know we got doc last week and because we got Doc last week, I thought it would be the perfect time to actually show the DeLorean. And I'm, yeah, there we go. I don't know why it slows up. I don't know. I'm connected. My connection is great. I don't know why it's doing it. But anyway, because the not Doc came out last week, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys the original DeLorean. Also, we got the new one coming out. Looks like the new one's going to be coming out uh, next month. So I figured, like, hey, let's go, you know, let's go back where we started. Let's let's look at the uh, the original one and, you know, just appreciate it since we got Doc Brown and we got the new one coming in. With all that being said, let's roll the thing and let's get the party started. Awesome. Awesome. Welcome to Good Morning Grails. Hope you got your eggs, your bacon, your pancakes, your coffee, your juice, your strudel, all that stuff ready. And you're watching this fine unboxing. Now, we're going to do this one a little different. It ain't going to be exactly an un uh, unboxing because this piece is huge. <laughs> it is. The box is huge. The vehicle is huge. I mean, like, it sounded like a good idea. I'm going to show the DeLorean. And, you know, and then I look at my backdrop and everything. And I'm like, damn, it's not, it's not big enough. I just don't know what to say sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> let's show the let's show this wonderful piece. Boom, there it is in all its glory. Looking fabulous, looking amazing. <sighs> and as you can see, like I said, it's you can barely you can barely, you know, it barely fits the space. But it looks great. It looks amazing. Um before we get into this thing, I want to see who's here. We got Bran Braden. He says Where's Biff? <laughs> Absolutely. We got FBJ in the house. What's good with you? He said, DeLorean, my personal favorite grail. I could not miss this unboxing, dude. Thank you so much for being here. This is this is one for the books right here, sir. Definitely. We got Yomo in the house. Present. Good to have you here. We got AJ Arusula. What's up with you? He said, long time no see. I know, right? <laughs> we got my guy, Ken Carpenter. He like, let's go. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's do it. We got collectible chats in the house. He said, yeah, I'm excited for this. Absolutely. Yeah, AJ, he said, oh, man, it's a premiere day. Dang. <laughs> yep, it's a premiere day. <laughs> uh, he said, welcome back, sir. Welcome back, guys. Good to have you all back here with us. He said, Doc is in the mail today. Yes, yes, Doc is. Doc should be here. He should be here later today. UPS, man, I'm telling y'all, UPS around my way, man. They'll have it on the truck. It, it was loaded on the truck at 5 a.m. They don't be here until like 7 or 8. So there it is. Bam. Um, yes, Doc's in the mail today. Oh, Rand's Talent Casino. He said, happy season five. Good morning, Grails. Hit that like button. That's right, everybody. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. We got Dell A in the house. He said, what's happening, Jay? What's up with you, brother? Always good to have you here, bro. Um, Got Aunt P in the house. He said, good morning, peeps. Good morning, bro. Good morning. Good morning, brother. FBJ said, Marty on Brother Cousins display, waiting for the De waiting for the DeLorean to come back. He damn sure is. <laughs> like, where did he like, will you bring my car back? <laughs> Absolutely absolutely uh he said uh, he said i mean my doc in the mail today i know 
I know, bro. I, I need, you got yours coming. I got mine coming. It's going to be a good day, brother. It's going to be a good day. I've been waiting for that one. You know, I know we talked about it last week with the, you know, with the slits and them using the same head sculpt. Personally, I don't give a damn. I'm glad that we, I'm glad to have another doc in the collection. That's just, that's just me though. <laughs> collect, collect the Joey in the house. He's like, we back. We back. We back. Absolutely. 22 of y'all in the house. I love it. The good morning, Grails crew. Yeah, my my family seriously love y'all all oh, everybody that watches my family but the good morning grails crew i i know the regulars you know what i'm saying no my regulars so definitely man always good to have y'all here always good to have y'all here thank you so much for the support of this show and of the channel all right so i'm gonna do this a little i'm gonna do this a little different um and i'm gonna kind of cheap out a little bit on this one um usually i would show you guys the box and all that that comes with it and everything. But first, I want to show you just some pics of the DeLorean. Now, y'all know I had mine like in flight mode, and I bought the pieces from a um uh, from a guy named Tom. I can't remember his last name, but it was Tom. He was on eBay. Uh Denobi knows him. Him and Denobi are good friends. Um, he's a great guy, he's an inventor, all right, genius. He inv he invented um the pieces. For the 2.0 version, back when we thought that we weren't going to get, uh, the uh, we weren't going to get a 2.0 flying DeLorean. He invented the the he uh, 3D printed the wheels, uh, lights for the wheels, um, the Mister Fusion, and a couple other pieces. Um, it's a whole kit, and that's what you were seeing behind me all these years. I had like I had, and I think the beginning of the pandemic, I had it. So it's been in flight mode for about two years, but now since the new one is coming out had to retire the flight mode and bring it back to its original version, especially we since we got, you know, original Doc and original Marty. You know, I had to change up display. It was time for a change, um, which means I'm going to be having two DeLoreans. So, you know, I got that to look forward to next month. Big Bill. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's going to be great. Um, so I I'm haven't decided yet if I'm going to sell that kit um, for everybody that has the original DeLorean but don't want to buy the 2.0. Um, I may sell that kit. So if anybody's interested, interested, if anybody's interested in buying that kit, let me know. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it just yet, but I may keep my options open. I, I mainly I'm waiting for the 2.0 to come. Once we get that 2.0, then and I know then I'll just sell it on because there'd be no reason for me to have those uh those 3D printed parts for the conversion. There wouldn't be no reason for me to have the conversion kit. So if anybody's looking to buy it. I may have it available at some point. With all that being said, I'm going to show you guys this picture right here. This was the DeLorean last night. It got jacked for its wheels. <laughs> um, Yeah, so last night I took the flight wheels off. Like I said, they, they were a, a 3D printed piece by my guy named Tom. I took the hover converted wheels off. And um, there it was. So that's how it looked last night. It was funny. My mom came down and she was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, it's the hover conversion, Ma. I was like, remember I did the hover conversion and everything for it? She's like, oh, yeah, that's right. So she's like, oh, you're bringing it. You're restoring it back. I was like, yes, because I got part one doc. She's like, oh, that makes sense. I was like, that She's like, well, it needed to change. You've had it like that for two years. Exactly. So now you guys are going to see a different display behind me. So. And matter of fact, all of this is going to change in the new year. All this display is going to change. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, let's, let's see who's here. Um, FBJ says, Marty, brother, cousins. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, yep. He said, be back. Just make sure I miss anything. He said, outfit accessories are worth it alone. I totally agree with Doc Brown. Outfit and accessories are totally worth it. Are totally worth it. They're totally worth it. In my opinion, totally. Uh, Mr. Holbrook, he says, sounds like you bought it from Tom from MySpace. I know. <laughs> but don't. I know, right? <laughs> you got to be there for that joke. Because I know some people like Tom from MySpace, you know, some young, younger folk. I heard I heard at some point MySpace was going to make a comeback. That would be and then that would be crazy. He said, I would he said, I would have been in fear to if I saw the DeLorean in parts. I know. Yeah. Had to dismantle it. Time travel was it's too dangerous of a thing. 
No, oh, that's it. Looks like it accidentally broke down in confidence. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They got Jack. <laughs> Christian Lopez, he said, yo, what up, BC? Yo, what up with you? What up? We got 28 in here. Good God. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Remember, hit that like button. Absolutely. So that's how I looked last night. And for all of you that want to see the box, this is what the box looks like. <laughs> I know I'm cheaping out on it. I know usually I pull it out the box. But man, we just didn't have the space in this room to do all that. And to film it at the same time, film equipment, lights, and all that. We didn't have the space. So we had to do it like this. So uh, here's the box. Box is still in good condition after all these years because I actually have the brown shipper to go with this box. Um, and I bought this. Actually, I bought this from a local collector. And um was great. But love the box art. Can't wait to see what the box art on the uh on the 2.0 version is gonna look like. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. Got Will C in the house. What up, Will C? Good to have you here, brother. We also got the Dockinator. He said, hope y'all doing. He said, hope you're doing well, BC. Absolutely, brother. Hope you are doing well as well. Um, and here's the back of the box. You get the time machine. It says the time machine, one six scale collectible vehicle, the MMS number. Get the casting characters, how enchant, Howard Chan, JC Hong, Ray Ling, <coughs> Ming Yung, everybody we know, and then all the legal leads in the back. <coughs> man i cannot shake this cough at all definitely so yep that was that right there now for what you all want to see i want to remove myself and show y'all this wonderful piece boom there it is that is the delorean right there this is an amazing piece we're gonna make a spin around for you real quick like so This thing is yes, simply amazing. A beautiful piece. One of my prized possessions. Not even gonna lie, it's definitely one of my prized possessions. As you can see, I restored it to its original state, and it looks good. It looks great. What I didn't know, I had a lot of dust on this thing. I had a lot of dust. Let me try to fix this a little bit. Fix the lighting a little bit on it for you guys. It is like super shiny. There we go. Very nice piece. Well done. Very well done. And like Doc said, when this thing hits 88 miles, you're going to see some serious shit. Let me turn it around a little bit. All right, right there. You see the vents. You see the out of time. Now, I'll tell you a little something right now. <clears throat> The stick that's the sticker and that sucks because at the time i paid about a thousand dollars for this thing and uh when i pay i paid a thousand dollars for it in 2018 so it was already out two years it was long sold out at that time found it from a local collector um and i believe in a baltimore area and i went to baltimore picked everybody knows i live in i live in maryland um so Went and picked it up, paid a thousand bucks for it, loved it, took it home. It was like, damn, I got to put stickers on it. And it was kind of bittersweet because in one way I felt like a kid again. Um, but in the other sense, I'm like, I paid a thousand dollars for this and I'm putting a sticker as a license plate. That it should be a D, it should have been a DCAS license plate on this. That's all I got to say. I really wish it was, but it isn't. Um, Let me see what else I want to show you guys. Um, let's turn this bad. Let's turn this bad boy on. Let's turn bad boy. I call her a girl. Let's turn her on real quick. Let's spin her around again. 
see all those wonderful details on the side and we'll look at the uh the details on the top and everything so you can see the plutonium chamber and all that other stuff We got Marty McFly himself in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness! He said, "If Hot Toys do a Back to the if if Hot Toys do release the Back to the Future 2.0 figures, could they kindly watch the film and screenshots and get the Marty jacket right? It's dark gray, not black, and the dot and the and the dot coat is mustard color, not canary yellow." Well, I'll tell you, the jacket isn't black in the figure. It is a tad darker, but on the figure, it's not It's not black. It's not black. Let me look at it. Now you got me thinking you want to look at it. It's, it's not black. It's a gray. It's a gray, but it's a very dark gray. But I get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying. The colors could be a little, could be a little lighter, but you got to also remember, it also depends on when we're looking at these things, it depends on what they do in the color grading. So on the set, that jacket may have been this color. Doc's coat may have been that canary yellow on the cover, but after they do color grading and all that stuff, it looks a little different, you know? So, you know, that's just something that, you know, just, just a little food for thought on that or, you know, um could be could be you could be right um let me see what we got here philip <laughs> philip the fool says damn that's damn that's pretty yes it really is it really is <clears throat> um so yeah let's continue shout out we got 34 people watching guys thank you so much There it is. Give you that good front view. <clears throat> and we show you where the light. Now, the thing I hate about this is that it doesn't come with, it didn't come with a USB. The new one is going to come with a USB adapter. This one just takes a regular like AC adapter, but it did not come with it. Um, I had to buy that separately. So um, actually when it's up, when it's up top in my display, I usually give the Alexa command and it will turn on. Um, because I didn't never wanted to, you know, do this portion. But like a real DeLorean, the hood lifts up in front. And actually, I should show you, take it to the side and show you this. As you can see, it has a mock tire up in here, right here. Um, and this unscrews out, and this is where the batteries go. Um, so you will put the batteries in there and then it also has a button right here and that's what turns on the lights and what makes time travel possible. So we'll spin her around again so you guys can see all the lights. There she is, all lit up. You see the headlights and the flux capacitor fluxing. An amazing piece, an amazing piece. <clears throat> Just a stunning piece. As I said before, one of my favorites in my collections, and I just love it. All right, we're also gonna so let's uh show you the gold wing doors, and they lift up like this, and they're on ratchets. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> The other one, one, two, three, and four. <clears throat> so you see the gold wing doors. And don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you all the little components on the inside, in the dash, all the lights, and all the back 
So we're going to see all that. But once again, I'll spin it around for you one more time. And it just looks simply amazing. Yes, I saw that guy. Yep. And I will be getting one. I just didn't want to pay the money for it. <laughs> Thanks, Peyton. It is an amazing piece, guys. Like I said, this is my prized possession. Tell you a short story real quick. And you guys may have heard me tell the story before. I'm getting old, so I'm repeating myself. But uh, when I got this, my wife, uh, we were dating at the time. We were just dating. And uh, I was telling her, hey, I'm going to marry you. I'm going to get you a ring, blah, blah, blah. Uh, then this happened. Um, I bought the figures. And at first I was like, you know what? I'm good with just, you know, the Back to the Future Part 2 figures. That's all I need. And then I was in a collecting group. I was showing my pictures of the figures and how much I love them. And a the guy just said, I can't remember who it was, but somebody was like, you're not going to buy the DeLorean? I was like, man, I ain't got room for that. He was like, you got to have the DeLorean, bro. And I was kind of like, I got to have the DeLorean? I got to have the DeLorean. So then the idea started to happen in my head. Like I really got to get the DeLorean. And uh, I told my wife, I said, you know what? I'm going to buy the DeLorean to go with my figures. And she looked at me and she said, how much is that? And I told her how much it was going to be. And then she said this. You better get me a ring. <laughs> you better get me a ring. And I told her, I promised her, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get her a ring. I'm going to get her a ring. And uh, I said, I'm going to get you a ring. And this was around my birthday. She actually gave me, like, I think she gave me, like, $400 towards it. Um, and then I sold a couple pieces. And then I was able to get it. I married her two months later. So, well, I was engaged. I bought a ring and was engaged to her two months later. So and that's why she's my wife. <laughs> that's why. That's why, man. You know, she she puts up with a lot. But uh, that, you know, it's love telling that story about this thing. Uh, definitely. Um, FBJ, he says, got my DeLorean last year and spent over two thousand. He said, worth it. Must have in my collection. Bro, it really is. It really is. And we're going to show pricing in a minute. We're definitely going to show pricing in a minute. Shout out. We got my guy, Big Dog Pound, in the house. Woo! This is a beast, Brother Cousins Toy Review. Absolutely. It is. It is. Got Lumi in the house. Luminari says, hey. She says, hey, guys. What's up, Lumi? How you doing? Always good to have you here. Love, Luminar. Great collector. Great person. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> shout out. We got 39 of you guys watching. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let's go back full screen on this on this beautiful piece. It's a wonderful piece, guys. A must have. And but what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one of my favorite segments. What it used, what it used to cost, and what it costs now. So let's pull this up. Let's share my screen. So this is what it used to cost. You got Hot Toy. Uh, you got the DeLorean <clears throat> six scale figure accessory by Hot Toys, six hundred eighty nine ninety nine. So six ninety. We weren't paying taxes back then. So with shipping, <coughs> with shipping, I'm believing this thing had to cost uh shit. 
what did this thing had to cost? This thing probably was um with shipping probably was about 40, 45 bucks. So you're looking at like about seven, seven twenty, seven twenty five, seven twenty, seven thirty. About seven hundred thirty dollars you could have bought this bad boy home. Back when it was released. Let's look at what it costs now. Now the place, the price has been fluctuating on this one, as everybody knows. Um, stop sharing the screen. Go back to share. Um, since the release, well, since the announcement of the 2.0 version, price has gone down, or has it? Uh, let's see. Up, oh, I did it again. Wrong one. Hold on. I'm tripping. Let's go to present. Share screen. Let's go to Evil Bay. Okay. That's okay. We see one right now in Japan for one uh for one thousand five hundred. <clears throat> God knows what the shipping is on that one. We see another one in Jam for uh in Japan for another uh, fifteen hundred. That one has forty six watchers. Fifteen hundred seems to be the going price. But as you get closer to the states, stateside, you see it going for this one's 17. This one right here, which is factory sealed, is going for $2,200, $2,200. This guy's crazy. He's selling both of them, Back to the Future Marty and the DeLorean, for $3,500. Both are mint. 23 people watching. That's too damn much, in my opinion. So fifteen hundred, fifteen to eighteen hundred, fifteen to three thousand, three grand. Well, I think if you look hard enough, you'll find it for about fifteen, fifteen. And with shipping and everything, you're gonna pay about two. Shipping and taxes, you're gonna pay about two grand. Don't look at the Taiwan prices. Taiwan prices are ridiculous. They are. Here's one sealed for twenty six hundred. It just goes up. It just goes up, people. So what I'm looking at right here, what I'm looking at, and I'm sorry, I know I'm lagging. What I'm looking at right here, guys, is the fact that this thing really hasn't gone down. It really hasn't uh, gone down in price. The second, um, and also I know. The part two version hasn't released yet. So that's another thing. That's another thing to consider. Um, Sorry, the thing keeps... There we go. Jason Himalay says, for me, it has always been an issue of space and finding a cabinet that I feel can display it. With that, I wouldn't... With, with that, wouldn't look ridiculous in my home. So far... That has eluded me. I um, I get it. As I tell you a little story, when I bought this thing, um, it didn't. I, I it took me some time to display it. It said when I finally bought it home on my birthday, it pretty much just sat in a box. It sat in a box for two weeks because it didn't. I put it on top. I was like, I'll put it on top of the detolf. It looks stupid. I was like, I paid a thousand dollars not to see it. No dice, no moss. So I found a way. I found a case, one of these white cases back here, which is an IKEA shelf, as an IKEA, IKEA cabinet unit, and I was able to retrofit it in there. And then eventually, I created this case. I made, I personally made that case back there, from Home Depot. Yep. Costa ain't the only one that makes cases. <laughs> <coughs> but I made those case, made that case back there specifically for it. And there you go. But now, my friends, let's uh let's solo it again. And um I'm gonna stop it right there. We'll take a closer look at it. 
So let me get up on it. In fact, we're going to extend the legs out. Give you a little behind the scenes action. All right, give you another view of this beautiful, amazing piece. Oh. Hold up. Oh no, I don't want to do that. So just give you just want to give you a top view of all the detailing and all the work you're going to get here. And this right here is most likely the reason. Um I'll get back on camera. I mean, we'll get back on uh <laughs> Costa heard me call his name. <laughs> he said, "Yo, what's up, Costa?" <laughs> what's up with you, brother? Yo. Um, once again, if you want to find a way to get this thing displayed, watch Costa's videos because <laughs> he can tell you how to make better cases than the ones I got, because I ain't going to lie next year. My cases are going to be, I'll be using his recipe, um, for the stuff I got behind me. So I just want to give a shout out to Costa. FBJ says, love looking at the DeLorean from behind. I know, right? <laughs> I love it when she walks away. <laughs> um, but yeah. This is why I think the value is going to stay the same with this one. And I know you probably guys have heard this from Denobi, and I'll say Denobi is right. Um, with the new version... <laughs> now this is a booty watch for you for sure <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly bro um yeah this is why this one is going to hold uh re retain its value you're not going to get this plutonium chamber on the uh on the uh 2.0 but y'all know the 2.0 has mr fusion and whatnot so you're not going to get that with that version. You're not going to get that with this version. You're going to get this one. Damn girl, back that thing up. Girl, who you playing with? Back that thing up. Call me Big Daddy when you back that thing up. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, you're not going to get that. But what you are going to get, you're going to get a light up exhaust. You know? These portions right here will light up on a new one. You're going to get that. And that's going to be amazing. So what I'm saying is because it is variation between the two, they'll both hold their value. So for all, you, that, for all you guys that paid big money for these, um, paid big money, uh, paid big money for this thing right here, you, I mean, shouldn't worry much because i think this this version will still be valuable of course a lot of people are going to be going after the 2.0 with the flight simulation <clears throat> but this will still i believe this one will still hold its value at least that's just my opinion um going back and look at it get the plutonium chamber right here like i said and yes let's see if i can get it out Ugh. this does come out so when you get your dark brown figure you can put the little plutonium uh cartridge inside i think we saw that um on the uh blogger photos last week as well so this thing has wonderful details Just want to get closer up in it. Look at all that. Just look at all that stuff. This looks amazing. 
right, let's turn her around a little bit so you can see more details. So you get the little red cartridges and all the little transistors and hosing and all that cool stuff. Just a lot of cool stuff in this thing. <coughs> Excuse me for the coughing, guys. Um, then you get this piece right here. I know, you know, I know it was a company out there that actually made the hook that goes straight down into the uh, to the flux capacitor. I never displayed it with that just because of the room and everything like that. But it's there if you want to do it. Let's go around to the other side. See all the little details on it. Put some light on that. All the other little transistors and components and doohickeys and whatnot. Looks great. Okay, let's move on to the inside, which this is going to be kind of hard to film, guys, um, to put on camera. But uh, we're going to find a way to do it. Oh, this is funny. BC, he said, BC, you know those funny Linkin Park Michael Bay trailers I sent you on IG? They shouldn't make a Back to the Few version. Yes, they should. And those are amazing. Those had me dying. I actually was looking at them last night laughing again because it was just so on point, especially the Obi-Wan one. <laughs> <coughs> FBJ said, that would be cool if I can get that custom uh, hook for um, the DeLorean. I have to research that. Yeah, they had it. A couple people uh, made it. A couple people had it. They had it. Um, that was being sold for years. Yeah. Uh, I think at one point I was going to try to make one out of an old wire hanger and all that stuff, but I just forgot to do it. Well, let's take a look inside. And unfortunately, guys, I'm probably going to have to wrap this up pretty soon. Get a little late. Ugh. All right, let's go. Try to get up in here. Try to get close up. Throw some light on that. Okay, you see right here, you see all the little time circuits and you see the switch that turns on the time circuits right here and this does move. Right there like so. You get the... Uh, Get the gear shift, which moves back and forth like so. Moves like that. You get all this little wire in here that connects to the top doohickeys. More LEDs right here. <clears throat> and the seats look great. You see the seat, you see the seat belts. The seats look great, but the seats are plastic. So if you're thinking that, you know, it's some luxury leather or something, no, it's just molded plastic. And it, it does the job. It does the job right. Let's look at it. And you see the <clears throat> flux capacitor fluxing. Looking cool. Trying to move it around again. Oh, let's go this way. <clears throat> you get all the transistors and wiring and stuff right here. You also get the little clock. And that little clock is removable. That clock is removable. Okay, you get another angle at it. You know what? I'm going to have to go handheld. So you guys can really see it. 
So you get the light LEDs at the top right there. See if I can. <clears throat> like I said, I just want to give you guys the best look at it inside as possible. Because I know you guys have seen this vehicle before, but I just want you guys to get real close. That's what Good Morning Grills is about. Getting in close and really just seeing, seeing these pieces. Just look at all those lights. You know, it's hard to get a good, it's hard to get a good look at that flux capacitor. There it is right there. Now we take a look at the dash. And, the dash, and what you're seeing is the light reflecting from the flux capacitor. No, the lights on the dash do not work, sadly. Now on the new version, they're supposed to light up. That's what we're hearing, that they're supposed to light up. So the lights on the dash all work. which would be, which is going to be phenomenal. Once again, like I said, you see the little clock there. You see the little white clock that had that reads 8.5. Uh, 8 so it's about to hit 88 miles. Then you get the three buttons on, this, uh, on the steering wheel right there. You also get the little... Uh, the little uh the little buttons where you can input the uh the year you want to go to looks great looks great like i said i really wanted to give you guys a look a real super detailed look of how this thing is In my opinion, it's worth every penny. Sorry for not having a steady hand. Just try to zoom out a little bit so you. There it is. And yes, you could put stickers on the time circuit. Turn on the light a little bit to show you how. Look how that looks. Oh, that just looks so good on the inside. Back up. Yep. Very excellent piece. Very great piece. Love it a lot. And just great. See, we got some people in the house. And let's see, we got some, we got a lot of people in the house. Oh, wow. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, we got God in Cape and God in a Cape. Uh, he said the plutonium chamber is not screen accurate, but still want it. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It ain't perfect now. It's not. But it still looks cool. Star Crash 1138. He said, nice piece. I have one on pre-order. Absolutely. Brayden said, I bet the camera just doesn't pick up how big this vehicle is. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. You, you'll know when you get in. But I will say, of all the vehicles, it is the smaller. It's, it's one of the smaller vehicles. Like, I believe... Like, like the, like the 89 Batmobile is way bigger, way bigger than this. And the Ecto-1, my God, I've never seen the Ecto-1 in person. I've just seen the Ecto-1s next to this, and it's ridiculous. Said the LEDs are so awesome. We have a place for collecting in a house. Carlos, 
He said, NR said they are making a die cast, real level die cast with real level seats. You upgrade into that one? Bro, I don't know. I don't know. I will have to see it. I will have to see it. Once I see it, I don't want to be like, no, man, hot toys for life. I don't want to say that shit. Because then when I see it, I'm be like, damn. But I know for it's going to cost. It's going to cost way more than that one. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. We got El Professor Rowe in the house. This is morning, everyone. Good morning, bro. What you doing up? <laughs> Good to have you here. Dude, great stream last, last night, by the way. Check out his stream talking about Anakin and Padme. It was awesome. It says awesome grail right there. Absolutely. Oh, Professor Rowe. He said, BC, if you are somebody else who got a soundboard installed in their DeLorean. Ooh. We said, was it you or was somebody else that got that soundboard? It wasn't me. I, for, I forget who that was. But I think it's definitely something I'm going to do. It's definitely something I'm looking to do because that just... When you put a sound card in it, it just brings it to life. Just like my Falcon cockpit. When you add the sounds, it just brings it to a whole nother, brings it to a whole nother level. So I think I'll be doing that. Yeah, Costa would know. 89, he said 89 Batmobile is 39 inches. Exactly. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Now, Max says, in our release, a rooted hair DeLorean. <laughs> <coughs> oh, funny. Oh, my God. He said, can both Marty and Doc fit into DeLorean? Marty, definitely. Doc, he can fit in. Because if you guys seen some of you know back of the video, I know it's hard to see. But I've had Doc in it. But the, the door is open and, him, and he's looking out. Um, it's, you can get them in there. You can get doc in there, but you gotta like, you gotta crunch them in. You can do it though. But honestly, he was, it was, this version was only really designed for Marty to be honest with you. And then I don't think they were really, they had really any plans on doing, uh, when doing doc. Um, and then they did them and then they were like, okay, he's a little, the DeLorean's a little underscale. He's a little overscale. So you got to, crunch them in there but also it's hard having a one six scale vehicle to fit one six scale people because in real life the delorean is very small i sat in a real one um it's small it is teeny the delorean in real life is teeny teeny car i have a dodge challenger and i parked by i have a delorean in my parking in my parking lot at work the owner always lets me fawn over it and takes pictures with it and all that stuff um and I pulled up next to it in my Challenger, and it just looked like a go-kart. Seriously, it looked like a go-kart. So, yeah. Uh, Jonathan Jonathan O'Kane, he says, thankful, uh, thankful to get the new one coming out. I wasn't collecting back then, but would have definitely got version one. Not sure if I would get version three if it comes out. Space is limited. Totally understand. Ah, I know he was going to do this. Damn it. Uh, he said, Carlos says, Big Bad Ecto-1 sold out. I think it's been proven that OG Ecto-1 is, is the one to get. He's right. Carlos, why you doing that? <laughs> and he knows, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing because he knows I want that Ecto-1 bad. I want it bad. Like, I'm considering selling off some grails, some grail pieces to get the Ecto one. So, yeah. Look at, look at, look at this bastard. He knows. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. Carlos, you know, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to be hollering. I told you. You know what I told you. So, if that comes through, you some business will be conducted. That's all I'm going to say, if that comes through. But, uh, yeah, man, he knows. He knows. My reply said Ecto One was um, excess horde stock that big uh, that big bad just made a killing on. Yeah, they was they made a killing on it. They made a damn killing on that. And I mean, 
they had seven of them and i didn't think they were going to i don't know why i didn't think they were going to sell but and it's funny like yesterday like i was thinking about it as soon as i thought let me see if i can scrounge up six hundred dollars and try to make this work let me see what i can do and it was gone so <clears throat> yep he said i really wanted ecto-1 but 3k is hard pill to swallow. it is that's why i didn't do it it's a hard pill to swallow he said you can get the ecto one for less than three uh three grand a friend of mine got it less than for 25 on ebay in october you can i mean you just gotta look gotta look in the right places it will be it will be but i know me i want the 84 i i, I have i have the afterlife one on pre-order and and you would think that would chasey 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 ate me but kind of want the 84 kind of do i kind of do anyway back at this back at this lovely piece right here and it's already 10 o'clock so we gotta gotta kind of wrap it up guys but um let's pull it out pull out a little bit and um look at this thing one more time before we wrap up for today And you know what? Let's add a guest. Let's let's add a guest star, shall we? Let's add a guest star. Well, I'm gonna put him in it because this will be the first time I put him inside the DeLorean. Y'all see where I'm going, right? Uh, let's see if I can just get it. See if we can do this. Right. See if I can just get it in. There we go. And there it is. <clears throat> so yeah, Marty fits in very good. Yep. Place for collecting says. Let me make sure. Hold on. There we go. Um, place for collecting. Carlos says, um, "Yeah, that eBay thing is true, but I think this proves the value should start going up if people are willing to pay 3K." Come on, come on, come, come on, Carlos. Come on now. <laughs> I see what you're doing. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this guy. Yeah. But yeah, man, the one is definitely there for the for the Ecto one. It definitely is. Mike McFly says, give me a one six scale Ecto one A with those flashing lights on the top and a side display. 
Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I definitely want that one too. FBJ says BC got the DeLorean in a dust free in in a dust free casing. That's what I need. Got to, bro. Said, don't damage the figure, bro. I seen some horror stories. Marty ends up ends up uh looking like Mace Windu <laughs> went at it. like he said, like Django helmet. Oh no, no, bro. No, no, no. So it looks amazing. Yes, it does. Wonderful piece. <clears throat> Our professor said, damn, this looks good. <laughs> you have me considering picking up the Mark II. Do it. Do it, bro. Do it. And you know what? Just for kicks, let's add somebody else. Let's add somebody else. Just waiting for it to spin around. Why not? Why not have Iny up in there? Gotta have Iny in there. Do it, Mario. Do it. Do it, brother. Do it, brother. <clears throat> Max, he said, after this stream, everyone isn't able to get a DeLorean. <laughs> Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Sorry, but this is like my favorite piece, guys. Carlos says, I think I'm just waiting on an NR to announce the Mark I. It's going to be nice, bro. It is. It's going to be nice. It's going to look good. It's definitely going to look good. It's definitely going to look good. You know, no doubt about that. It's just, man, that price tag, man, that price tag gonna be ridiculous. But it's always good to have options. Oh, Professor says definitely feeling enabled, Max. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Damn it, I forgot to do it. I meant to have. Uh. Um. Uh, a caution warning at the beginning of this videos at the beginning of uh, good morning grails i might have a caution one that says you know may be enabled brother Casatory reviews are not responsible for anybody going out making crazy purchases or losing their family or losing their wife or not being able to pay their rent viewer advised viewer discretion is advised i was trying to remember viewer discretion is advised there we go yep Let's collect the Carlos. Where did you see NRS making a DeLorean? <clears throat> Only W. No, they said it. No, he's right. Costco, he's right. They said they're making it. They said that they're making it. They said that they're making it. I want to give a shout out to my guy, Andrew James, in the house. What's up, Andrew? My brother. What's up, bro? What's up? He said, I had to pull, had to pull over. He said, I had to pull over my work truck to show some, to, to show some, uh, to show my guy, show my guy some love. This and I should be getting my doc brown, my doc to complete my set today. Me too, brother. It's gonna be a happy day for us, ain't it? It's gonna be for all of us, you know, old school collectors and all of us like 80s memorabilia and back to the future fans. I think a lot of us are getting our, our Doc Browns today. So this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great, man. So happy for you. And brother, thank you for the five dollar bomb. Always a pleasure, brother. Gotta have you back on the show, man. It's been a while. It's been a minute. I know we said we're gonna do the retro show. <sighs> Fuck it. I've been so damn busy and you know, having a kid, man. Oh my god. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. The time I used to have. Wow. It is. Now I realize how precious time is. I really do. But brother, thank you so much for being here and thank you for, you know, dropping that. I definitely do appreciate it. Uh, let me say, John said it multiple times on streams. They said they have the license for the DeLorean, but not the figures. There you go. Yeah, I, I remember. I was there. I remember hearing it. Yeah. Braden said, has brother cousin's toy. Oh, my camera just went. Oh, no, 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 no. That's horrible. The camera is dead, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get it back for a minute. Hold on. We'll get it back. But I'll read this and then I'll um I'll throw some new batteries in the camera real quick. Said has brother cousins toy reviews enabled you into buying expensive as collectibles? You may be eligible to sue. Call me. <laughs> Call me Saul Goodman and we, and we will take him to court. Don't say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. So let me know how that cardboard box is. I got that custom. I got that custom one getting made. So it would be nice to hear options on it. <laughs> It'd be good to see. Good to hear opinions on it. Oh wow! All right, let me get the camera working back, guys. I know that DeLorean. Uh, yeah, it it was that hot. It was that. You're right. It was that damn hot. Hold on. Let me get it back on camera. We got it. We can't end it. We can't end the stream like this. Can't end the stream like this. All right, can't do it. Camera just said, fuck it. <laughs> camera just said, fuck it. And it did get the guy. The camera is hot as hell right now. If I got, I did two streams back to back. I don't know why it does that when like I don't know why it does that when it's connected but I guess it's not it doesn't get enough juice I guess it just doesn't get enough juice from the uh from the cable no why is it two of me that's why am I why I'm seeing it two of me oh I know why We gonna do this shit. Hold on. Ah, uh, that's right. There we go. And we're back. There we go. And we're back. I couldn't end it. I couldn't even end the stream like that. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. Couldn't do that to my family. Come on. All right, guys. So that has been Good Morning Grails. And uh, yeah, let me add, add myself back to the stream and let's just do this. All right, guys. So that's been the show for today. Um, Guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, You know, we have a ball with Good Morning Grails and I'm just glad to be here to, you know, to be able to show you this grail and just happy to have it. I know a lot of you got Doc Brown coming in today, and that's going to be amazing. Going to be amazing for all of us. Um, I will be doing a review of Doc Brown, um, so you'll see the whole set together, and that will be great. Also, I got a collection tour coming up as well. Um, um, that should be done and ready um, tonight, matter of fact. Um, I know I've been saying that, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. Of course, we're going to be doing best of the best this week. Um, that's going to be great. A lot of stuff to talk about on best of the best, a lot of stuff to talk about this week. And yeah, so that's going to be great guys. Thank you all for being here. And yes, Carlos, hold that Ecto one for me. <laughs> hold that Ecto one, bro. I think, I think I may make that purchase. I think I may do it, but it depends on if that, if that get that money in, bro, if I can get that money in, but yes, um, I'm glad you guys like the show. Best of the best season five premiere. And we out of here. But before we go, I'm going to leave you 
with the DeLorean by itself. And let me get my mug off camera. Just a great piece. Just an excellent piece. Like I said, crown jewel in my collection. Guys, thank you for watching.